What's going on guys? Knife Guy coming at you with another GTA 5 video. This one here guys, I will be showing you two new glitches which will allow you to get items that will be coming out fairly soon, part of the Christmas DLC, but it will allow you to get them right now so you can play around with them a little bit yourselves. Before we get started on this video though, I just want to give a huge shout out. Everybody's been wondering what I've been up to, why I haven't posted as many content or have as many videos. I have been fairly busy right now since it is the holidays, coming around Christmas time, a lot of work hours, but I've also been giving a handout to Ross, aka Mr. Boss for the win. I just want to say a huge, huge thank you to him for giving me the opportunity to show him what I'm able to create. He's been using thumbnails that me and my friends have been creating for the past, I believe, six or seven videos. So the ones that we've done recently have been Breaking Bad, Imports and Exports, Pimp My Ride, The Grand Tour, Throwback Thursday, Top Gear, Transformers, and there are a couple new ones coming out which haven't been released yet. There is going to be a live stream at the end of today, around 5 o'clock, so go ahead and check it out on Mr. Boss's channel for Ninja Turtles. That thumbnail has been done by us as well. So huge thank you, Ross, Mr. Boss, for also posting on the front of his page under his friends list. It means a lot to me, man. Huge thank you to that. Also want to give a shout out to all my buddies who have been helping me out with this. So I will leave links in the description to all their channels, whoever does have it. First off, TweakRunnerYT posts a lot of great live streams. It's fairly new. Let's try to get him to three grand before the end of this year, guys. I know that's one of his goals, and let's try to push him up to it. Next one's going to be Big420 Punisher. Another one of my buddies who's on, on almost daily with me. Helps me out. Always there. Always available to give a hand out. Next off is going to be Big Willie, another guy who posts a lot of live streams, does great content. He's just starting to get into some videos, created content. Go check him out as well. Next one's going to be Josh. Josh, he doesn't have a YouTube channel, but he's one of those guys who loves playing GTA, loves hanging out with us, and also doesn't mind giving a hand whenever he can for any kind of these thumbnails, any kind of videos. Wicked guy. And also want to give a big shout out to Iron Panda. He does a lot of live streams. Great guy, just starting out building up a new computer to start up on GTA PC. Go check him out as well, guys. And lastly, you will see him in this video helping me out with this glitch. Is going to be Milky. Also, guys, I have been helping them out with a lot of their crew logos, so I will leave pictures of the crew logos as you can see here, guys. I like posting these. Like I said, I don't do it for the money. I do it because I enjoy creating the content. I love playing GTA, and I just love seeing the positive feedback that you guys have been giving me recently. So if you guys want, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and throw a like down. If you guys are coming from somebody else's channel to check this out, I really appreciate it. Also, go ahead and subscribe to it to be able to stay updated on new content. I'll leave my Twitter feed down below, so if you guys want to follow me on that. Other than that, guys, hope you enjoy it, and let's get into this video. Alright guys, so first glitch we got lined up here is going to be showing you guys how you can get one of the Christmas DLC masks before the DLC even comes out. It's pretty much just one of those things, a glitched outfit that will allow you to get it. You can show your friends, have fun with it. All you want to do is go out and pull up your job menu, go down to Rockstar Created, go down to Verses, and go down to Crooked Cop. Start up the job, and you will want to have a friend here for this one. Makes it a little bit easier all around, just for the fact that you won't die over and over again. So once you guys got the job started up, go ahead down, and you want to go select from Classic, put it onto Themed. Once you have it on Themed, this will allow you now to get the mask itself. So once you got the mask, go ahead and invite your friend to the lobby. It doesn't matter who it is, but like I said, it is a lot easier if you do have a friend in the lobby. So in this case, like I said, Milky gave me a hand with this one. Really appreciate it, Milky. Huge shout out. Thank you. I will leave a link also to his new crew that I just helped him out create. So you guys want to check that out and join his crew. It's a Raging Bull logo. So what you want to do is go ahead and join the other team. So you'll notice if you stay on the first team since you are a host that you won't have the ability to select the gingerbread outfit, the gingerbread mask itself. So what you want to do is swap teams, jump onto his team, and then just allow him to swap back to the first team. Just before the time runs out though, you want to make sure that you swap it out and go down to Fairy Tail. Fairy Tail is going to be the mask, the outfit, the set that you want to select it to. Go ahead and start the job up now at this point. So once you guys got the job started, all you have to do for this part, just go ahead, pull up your interaction menu, go down to style, and you just want to swap through your mask visor, so up and down. So do this for about 15 to 30 seconds. If you do want to ensure it does work, go ahead and do it for 30 seconds just to make sure. So just keep swiping right, 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 or you can go back and forth, left and right alternatively. It doesn't matter really. Once you've been doing this, like I said, let it sit for about 15 to 30 seconds, let your character idle out, and what's going to happen is that you will get kicked out of the job. One tip is also to make sure... One tip that does allow it to work a little bit easier is go ahead and put your settings to last location when you are in the open lobby before you start all this up, but it will work either way guys. So go ahead and swap back and forth, back and forth, you will notice that your character goes into that cinematic mode, so the mode that's pretty much like an AFK where you're just looking around almost in first person, but make sure that you do not move your character around, just sit still, stand there, it doesn't matter if your friend moves or not, it's just you that you cannot move. So once you notice all of a sudden that you do get timed out, you want to go ahead and push X. It will load you back into online into the street. At this point, you will have the full outfit on. All you want to do is run down to any one of the clothing stores, ammunition, doesn't matter what it is, save this outfit. 
Once you do have the outfit saved though too, you can swap out the clothing which will keep the mask on. So in this case you can see you can put on any one of the loungewears, anything you want guys. Go ahead and save this as a secondary outfit and that's about it. So it is one of the ways you can get one of the Christmas DLC masks a little bit earlier. Go ahead and mess around with it and have fun with it guys. Other than that, let's get on to the second glitch. Guys, so for this one here, a lot of people are wanting to have it. Again, it probably will come out part of the New Year's or the Christmas DLC. Not 100% sure which one, but it will show you how to get the rocket launcher. I will leave a link in the description to the job so you guys can go ahead and bookmark it. All you want to do, go down, pull up your start menu, go down to bookmarks, go down to captured, and what you want to select is the firework one. So you will, guys will notice that it will load you in. Go, like I said, get your friend in here. Makes it a little bit easier, so Milky gave me a hand on this one. But what you want to select for your weapons is you want to have pick up and own. If you don't select this, you won't be able to pick up any of the rocket launchers or any of the ammo. When you do have it selected, go ahead and start the job up. You'll notice you do spawn right in front of this big cage in front of one of the bars. Climb up the ramp, you may not want to get shot, it doesn't matter if you die, whether you do or whether you don't, it doesn't really matter. Start the job up, go up, kill all the people in the middle of the cage themselves, jump in and grab all the rocket launchers. What you can do for this one is you can get up to 20 of them, but it does allow you to keep doing the job over and over again, resupplying all your ammo and resupplying the firework launcher itself. So like I said guys, go up, run up the ramp itself, kill all the people inside, sticky bombs tend to work a little bit easier, you can use your gun, doesn't really matter which one you want to use. All you do, go ahead and kill a bunch of them, jump inside, grab the firework launcher, once you guys have got your firework launchers, all you want to do is go ahead and pull your phone up, select the middle option, push square to quit the job, back out and once you load online you will notice now that you do have all the firework launchers with you. Super simple, super easy glitch but again something that hasn't been released yet but does allow you to get a little bit early before the DLC and the updates do come out. Other than that guys I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said if you're new to the channel and you found me through somebody else go ahead and throw a subscribe down, leave a comment down below and let me know how you found my channel. Throw a like down on the video. Check out everybody that I have given a shout out to who has been helping us out with the recent thumbnails for Mr. Boss, aka Ross. I'll leave a link down in all their descriptions as well. Join their crews, subscribe to their channels. Other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys want to see more like this. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace.